Christopher, wine weirdo, and I'm Mike, and we have a toucan wine, and it's a 2009 Zen from Aurora Grande. Right, that's up in the central California area near San Luis Obispo, about 30 miles, 40 miles short of Paso Robles. And Doug is the proprietor, and Toucan has had an amazing oh, record wow. on Wine wow. Weirdos, so we're really excited about wow. this, this Zinfandel. The nose is really glowing on this. I get a lot of smokiness. Mm -hmm. I get like a charred like tobacco sort of thing going on. There's tons of fruit going on and lots of floral aspects to mm -hmm. it. I'm really enjoying this nose. What do you get on the nose? Explosive. I know that this is a 60% new French Hungarian oak, and it's showing the Hungarian oak beautifully. Mm. That's my, my interest, but again, super ripe fruit, ripe fruit on the wow. nose. I can't wait to get it on the palate. On the palate, I get very little oak influence. What I'm getting is tons of vibrant, very vibrant, very almost acidic, ripe red fruit. I'm getting like wow. a raspberry thing going on for days. Vibrant, Pomegranate. Vibrant and ripe is an understatement. This calls to mind Saxum and its complexity. It's not quite to that level, but the fruit is outstanding and the winemaking's really there. There's a really steady hand going on here. Yeah, I'd, I think I would have to be in a dark room to explore my palate to find the oak influence on this. Sure. It is so transparent. It's totally it's invisible. so unique, especially for a California Zin. And the structure on the back is just amazing. We're nearly halfway through the bottle trying to find all the words to express how much we enjoy <laughs> We this. are. This is a big, big happy face. 91, 92 plus wine. To me, that's like a 93. This is mm -hmm. like happy, happy place for me. So we're going to check out more on Wine Weirdos. Cheers.